Today we have gotten some massive leaks about Chapter 4 Season 2, so today I'll be breaking down everything that we just got in this bombshell news update. There is literally so much stuff we now know about Season 2, what's going to be coming, the skins, the POIs, the items, literally so much got leaked. Like, this is not an exaggeration, this is not clickbait, we got a ton of stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now today, the two famous leakers, Hypex and Sheena BR, banded together to get some of their most reliable sources at Epic Games and have found some of the largest leaks for Season 2. Now, first off, we know one of the POIs that is going to be coming, and this is Lucky Landing V2. Now, for those who never landed at Lucky Landing on the Chapter 1 map, Lucky Landing was an amazing spot to drop that got introduced in Chapter 1 Season 2. It was Booga's favorite drop spot, especially during the World Cup, so it got really famous off of that. And then we're also going to be getting a Neo Tokyo POI. So, this is probably going to be like Neo Neo Tilted Towers. For those who didn't play in Chapter 1 Season 9, there was this POI called Neo Tilted, which was basically just a newer, like, futuristic version of Tilted Towers. So we'll probably be getting something like a Neo futuristic version of Tokyo. Do not ask me how that's gonna work, but I bet it is going to look absolutely amazing, and I'm guessing these two new POIs are going to be some of the hottest drops on the map, with everybody wanting to check them out. Now, with the map stuff aside, let's move on to items that we're going to be seeing and these are not any standard items these are new things these are new mechanics these are or katanas and swords that are getting added to Fortnite. That's right, we're going to be seeing melee weapons finally implemented into Fortnite. Now, you may say, hey, Gummy Yoshi, in the past we have seen melee weapons. We've gotten stuff like the Scythe or the Infinity Blade, but these are going to be actual melee weapons that you can find on the ground. So, most likely these things will be in like green, blue, legendary rarities where there'll be a normal flow of combat thing. With how close combat Fortnite is nowadays, especially with zero build mode, since you literally can't build against people who are swinging a sword at you, these could genuinely be really useful. My personal guess is that these swords will have some sort of block feature, so that basically when you're being shot at by an enemy, all you need to do is go ahead and hold down right click to actually block the bullets that are incoming. I think that would be a really, really cool feature, and of course you guys know how a sword or katana would work. You literally just left click and you start swinging at enemy players. I'm not sure how much damage these things should do. Obviously, it should be more than your pickaxe, because, like, you know, what's the point of having a sword if it's only going to deal as much as the pickaxe? But I'm thinking, like, 50 damage per swing might be fair, just because if you get that close to an enemy player, I think you should be able to punish them with a sword, especially since the swords don't have range, unless maybe they add in a mechanic where you can throw the sword at an enemy player, but you don't retrieve it until you actually run to the sword and pick it back up. I think that would be a really, really cool way of having things, and maybe it does, like, 100 damage when you throw the sword, sword or it's a one shot headshot there's a lot of different ways they could implement these things and i'm really excited to see them in season two now the next one is futuristic motorcycles so obviously we have the dirt bikes on the map right now but we're most likely going to be getting some sort of like tron motorcycle for next season for those who have never watched tron i mean i actually haven't watched tron but i know the entire plot line of tron because it's literally just futuristic motorcycles like i'm fairly sure that's what the entire movie is about so we're probably going to be getting something looking similar to this. I'm really excited for this. I think that they could pull this off in an amazing way, and Fortnite typically outdoes it for the season releases, so I'm thinking that in a few days, when this season comes out, at around March 10th, we're still not sure what the exact release date is. We know that this season ends on March 8th, but we're not entirely sure when the actual release date for Chapter 4 Season 2 is, but we know it should be around March 10th. There may be like a full day of downtime where you just cannot play Fortnite, but honestly, if it's in preparation, preparation of adding all of these new amazing things into the game, then I am totally fine with it. Now, moving on from the futuristic motorcycles, we've got new weapons coming next season. Of course, as we always do, two of the ones that have been confirmed by Hypex and Sheena are a pistol and a shotgun. So that means we're going to be getting some new form of pistol, maybe some suppressed one, maybe something like a hand cannon. I'm really hoping for something new though. Maybe we could see like some sort of rapid fire pistol that has like a ton of recoil, but maybe it does extra damage. Damage. I don't know. I'm just saying random things right now. If you guys have any ideas for a new pistol in the comments, let me know down below. And then we're also
also going to be getting a new shotgun. Now, this one is hard, because I feel like Fortnite has tried literally every type of shotgun that you can, so I'm not really sure what else there is to add, but honestly, Fortnite somehow always surprises us. They always amaze us with the items that they give us, and I bet they'll somehow innovate a new way to actually have a shotgun in-game. I'm guessing they'll blow us out of the water with this next season, just from these leaks alone. Now, moving on to our final point that came from this leak, we have glowing tubes you slide on as mobility while holding your weapon. So basically, imagine like a little floaty thing that you can actually slide around on the map in, except you can also have your weapon out. So I'm guessing that these things will be pretty similar to ballers, but you'll be able to shoot out of them. So they sound kind of overpowered. I'm guessing that enemies will actually be able to shoot you while you're on them. Like, I mean, it says a tube. So in theory, you'll be inside of the tube and you'll be protected from enemy fire. But if you're protected from enemy fire, then how are you going to be able to shoot at enemy players? Maybe there will be like a little hole opening in the front of the tube that you can actually shoot out of. But that means enemies can also shoot in, but you can't shoot out of the sides. There's a lot of different ways that Fortnite could actually go with this thing. But anyway, way that they go, I'm guessing it's going to be amazing. Fortnite typically does a really good job with the vehicles. Honestly, there really hasn't been a disappointing vehicle in like the past two years since we've gotten cars added to the game. So I'm really, really excited to see how these things turn out. And these are all of the major leaks that we got for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 in today's massive leak update. Now, are these leaks confirmed? And the answer to that, in my personal opinion, again, at the end of the day, these are leaks, so Fortnite could change things up at the very last minute. But in my opinion, and Yes, I think all of these things are going to be coming to game. Hypex and Sheena BR are two leakers that have been leaking since basically day one of Fortnite. Since chapter one, like season four, I think, they've been leaking for a very, very long time. And they say that the source that contacted them and Sheena BR is an incredibly trusted one. I'm guessing that these leaks are in fact true. And they've got like an inside man at Epic Games. Now, make sure that this guy does not get outed. Make sure that nobody finds out who he is. Because having these leaks is really really fun just knowing that in only like a, literally less than a week at this point we're going to be getting all of these items in game i'm incredibly excited for this new season if you guys are excited for this season as well then make sure to stay subscribed to the channel because of course you guys know i will be covering literally everything that's going to be happening in game on the channel over here at gummy yoshi so make sure you stay subscribed to it make sure you hit the like button on this video just so that it gets out to more people so that more people can see all of the leaks and all of the stuff coming in chapter four season two but besides that that's literally everything we know about all these leaks about chapter four season two for now i might be making a lore recap video going into chapter four season two because it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a live event sadly so it is still important to know the lore just so that when chapter four season two actually releases you're not completely lost with what's going on with the storyline but for now that's everything i've got to say to you guys in this news update if you guys did enjoy the video or find it helpful then please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel as that would help me out a ton i hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next one.